Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bit. Today, I want to talk about how you can install Windows 10 on a Windows 7 system. It can still be done. So, of course, a long time ago, they said that uh, this upgrade is here. You can download whenever you want. Just do it whenever you want up to until a certain time. And I'm here to tell you guys, you can install Windows 10. You can upgrade, install to Windows 10. And from there, you just slap in your Windows 7 key and you're good to go. Now, how do you find your Windows 7 key? Most times, it'll be on the side of your box. Uh, actually, I've had situations where I purchased systems that were just the box, just the case, just the, the CPU units, the the uh, modem as or tower as some people call them. They'll have their Windows 7 sticker right on there and once you install Windows 10 or upgrade to Windows 10, you can just use that thing. No problem, it'll take it, it'll activate it. I was very happy to see this a little while ago. So here you can see I have my epic mining rigs. I got Mr. Mustachio there. And then over here I have uh, an i5 unit that doesn't have a working fan. So yeah, that bottom computer, I got Windows uh, 7 license with it. Right there, that's the key, it'll only work with this computer type. And uh, yeah, so just throw that number in there that you see during activation, and you'll be good to go. So I know some people out there are going to have the key, but they're not going to have the sticker anywhere on their unit. So if you're one of those unfortunate folks, uh, what you got to do, let's just say this is Windows 7 that I'm in because, uh, or 8.1. So what you got to do is you got to come on down here and you got to click that button and you got to search for CMD. That's the command prompt, right click on it, run as administrator, and then this is going to come up. I'm going to leave in the, in the description what you're going to need to put in. But here's what you're going to need to put in. You're going to hit enter, and then it's going to give you your code. Just like that. So with this, you can get your code. I'd recommend you take a picture of it. And then make sure you enter that code when you start installing Windows. Now, what you're going to need to do, if you want to update to Windows 10, you got to come to this address, uh, the Microsoft Windows 10 download. You got to download the tool and then run the tool. The tool is very straightforward, but it is a very simple, very simple install. And what you're going to do is you're going to upload it onto a USB key. And then once you have that USB key, you're going to insert, you're going to press play basically. You're going to hit that setup and you're going to go through everything. Now when they ask for the key, what you're going to do is you are going to give up the key that uh, you just found right there. And with that, you will be able to get into Windows 10, ladies and gentlemen. So ultimately, yes, it is that easy. Yes, it can be done. And uh, this might make it easier, more affordable to get an older computer and just upgrade it a little bit than it would be to get a new one. Because if you get a Windows 7 key, you don't need a Windows 10 key. Windows 10 key, I'm pretty sure those go for about 150 these days. But if you just pick up an older system with uh, that has an i7 chip in it, you know, away you go. Away you go. You throw that Windows 10 key in there, and away you go. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Not from Nevstack, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other, eh?